Rising flood waters have the city of Frederick and Frederick County under a state of emergency. Yeah, we were reminding you again, people are being asked not to drive if they don't have to. Schools are on a two hour delay today and that rain is still falling. WMAR 2 News' is Chanel Perriman is live in Frederick for Chanel. You've been out there almost every day this week. So how does today compare to the last few days you've been out there? Oh, Ashley, flooding here at Baker Park has gone down. You might remember yesterday we were able to show you water overflowing from Carroll Creek here into the park. A lot of this area was just completely flooded. Well, as you see this morning, a lot of that water has gone down. But with more rain in the forecast, many are still concerned about the possibility of even more flooding. Right now, all of Frederick County is under state of emergency. The city and county joined their state of emergency so they can help even more people in need. Now they can use both state and federal programs to help with the cost of repairs. A travel is not being restricted in the area, but there are still several roads closed because of the flooding. Water is safe to drink, but officials are still asking people to limit their water use. And they're also asking people to avoid parts of Carroll Creek until further notice. Officials want people to understand this is still a serious matter. This does not look quite as dramatic as 30 or 40 or 50 inches of snow that might fall over several days, which we've had in this community within the last 10 years. But I can tell you that the time and energy that has to be dedicated by our employees to deal with water in many respects is far worse. It's more unpredictable. The risk to health and life and safety is greater. Now, officials are saying it could take up to a month to repair all of the damage caused by the storm. Live in Frederick, Chanel Pearman, WMAR 2 News. All right, Chanel Pearman reporting live for us this morning. Chanel, thank you.